Paul, you and I All have right. had. <laughs> uh, hello, you're listening to the sweet sounds of WKB. You know, um, we have throughout the year, and a lot of people have done it without taking a deep dive. Mm-hmm. Um, just using the eye test, I think a lot of people have done that. We took our, we did our due responsibility and researched it and stuff. Talking about the third quarter for the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. What's going on with the offense? Why aren't they scoring? You know, some of the things were, okay, well, they started a drive near the end of the third quarter, then scored in the fourth. So that was, that could be a drive that was attributed to the third quarter. Mm -hmm. I happened to just take a, like a real quick dive into some of the statistics that were going on with the Buffalo Bills. And as far as their defense is concerned, I think there's something that might, that might shock you and hashtag nation. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. If you take a look at the statistics for the Buffalo Bills defense, in the first quarter, amazingly enough, they've not given up a rushing touchdown in the first quarter all year. Really? Amazingly, right? Okay. They've given up five passing touchdowns. So by my quick math math calculations, in the first quarter, they've given up five scores in 13 games, all through the air in the first quarter. Second quarter, they've given up four rushing touchdowns and three passing touchdowns. But they also have four picks to go in the second quarter as well. So whatever, you know. So you look at that now, they've given up 12 touchdowns in the first half of games in 13 games this season. That's great. Pretty impressive, right? Yeah, that's great. How many touchdowns have they given up in the third quarter? Oh, God. The third quarter has been uh, just a a barrage of terrible where, as Bills fans, we're just saying, okay, don't give up too much ground in the third quarter, (laughs) right? So how many have they had in the the whole first half? In the whole first half, they've given up – well, eight eight passing touchdowns, four rushing touchdowns in the first half. Yeah, I'm going to go with that just in the third quarter alone. Let's you swing would, for the feds. You would be 11. 11? 11 touchdowns. Oh, my God. Seven on the ground. Oh. Opponents are rushing for 5.2 yards a carry in the third quarter. Ooh. Giving Ooh. up seven rushing touchdowns. They've given up four passing touchdowns. Obviously, only have one pick. Uh, second highest completion percentage for teams in the third quarter of any quarter for again, playing against the bills. Um, but you look at it, what, as you know, Paul, just say it for the masses. You're rushing for five points. They have the most rushes too. opponents have the most rushes in the third quarter. So it's not like they have less carries, but more yards. They just broke a big one. They have the most rushes, the most yards per carry and seven touchdowns in the third quarter. What does that ultimately do to the clock? Oh, it's, yeah, it shortens, it shortens your offensive possessions, okay. right? Yeah, absolutely does. So if the Buffalo Bills are getting the ball in the first half, kicking the ball off in the second, many of the times with the lead, Paul, what do you concede when you have the lead? Yeah, you concede right, you the give run. up with the run. You give, yeah, up, you give the up, run. up the run, that's fine. Because, yeah. you know, it flips it on its head in the fourth quarter where teams have 14 touchdowns in the fourth mm-hmm. quarter, nine passing, five rushing because – you're, you're playing with a lead now. You're just giving up stuff at this point. Mm-hmm. But to me, the Buffalo Bills have given up <clears throat> in quarters one, two, and four, nine rushing touchdowns. They've given up seven in the third quarter alone. Yeah, that's crazy. So perhaps, that's crazy. perhaps we should as well take our foot off the gas pedal when we start talking about this team, the offensive production in the third quarter. What do you, well, what do you think I mean, about that? I mean, that, that kind of – I mean – that kind of plays into if you just look at the the offensive stats for the third quarter, yeah. right? So let's let's separate, right? Knowing what, okay. knowing that, knowing right? that, and then we go back. Let's to the look offense. at the yeah. offensive stats and then see if there's a if there's a correlation, okay. right? So if we're just looking at again, splits by quarter, yep. nothing fancy here, right? Yes. The Bills have 19 rushing first downs in the third quarter. Okay. Yes. In the first quarter, they have 23. In the second quarter, they have 27. In the fourth quarter, they have 29, right? 
So again, pretty large margin of difference there. You have right? a lead in the fourth quarter. You're probably going to try to run the ball a little bit more. Right. So right. Makes sense. Right. Okay. Okay. First downs in the uh, third quarter passing uh, 40. In the first quarter, they have 45. In the second wow. quarter, they have 54. Wow. In the fourth quarter, they have 44. So again, the third quarter is your least productive just in first downs. And we know that first downs lead to scores. Like that's there is a definitive correlation between the number of first downs you get and yes. the number of points you score in that quarter. It's a definitive correlation. And without a doubt, across the board, no way other than to cut it as saying the Bills offensively just do not produce points in the third quarter. They don't produce points because they, they're getting the fewest number of first downs. Paul, you need to have the ball to get first downs right. in the third quarter. Right. 88 yeah. times, 88 rushes, 88 mm-hmm. attempts for opponents in 13 games against the Buffalo Bills, averaging mm-hmm. 5.2 yards a carry. Um, yeah. True. Much of that, probably the Kansas City game. I'm not going <laughs> to lie about that. <laughs> they have two rushing touchdowns, the Buffalo Bills, in the third mm-hmm. quarter. Same as the first, more than right. the second. Mm-hmm. Um, they have the least amount of passing touchdowns. Mm-hmm. But they have nine in the first quarter, nine in the second quarter passing touchdowns. But it's it's great to – it's almost like the chicken or the egg debate because you have legit, you know, statistics to back up your point and say, right. listen. And then we also have the eye test. We can't, we can't not just – okay, with the eye test, sometimes they come out flat. Sometimes they, they mm-hmm. go a three and out. A team gets the ball. They go down and they score in the third quarter. The Buffalo Bills do a right. three and out. And then another team starts running on them again. Okay, well, the, then the team is, has held the ball for 10 of the 15 minutes already. The ball, Bills get the ball back with four minutes to go in the quarter. They drive down. Right. They score at the beginning of the fourth. You know what I mean? Right. Stuff like that. Well, I understand that. But to me, when I took a look at those defensive splits, and you have, in three separate quarters, teams have rushed for nine total touchdowns in three, in three separate quarters yeah. in 13 games, yet – rush for seven in the third quarter alone with a 5.2 yards per carry. Mm-hmm. I can't ignore that. Right. I can't say, okay, they're, ca- they're keeping the ball forever in the third quarter well, on us. I mean, let's, let's determine that. Let's look at total number of, of plays, right? You've got the defense. You have still have the defensive splits up. Yes, I do. Okay. How many pass attempts, how many rushing attempts? So let's talk about total snaps. Let's okay. let's look at the macro level, right? From the macro level, how many total snaps is the defense actually seeing versus how many snaps the offense is physically taking, right? Let's just see. Is there a difference? I don't know. Let's okay. find out. Yeah, let's take a look at that. So in the first quarter, but but this is what's great about the de- defensive splits that I currently have. So the Buffalo Bills have given up zero rushing touchdowns in the first quarter, mm-hmm. five passing touchdowns, okay? Right. I, for total number of plays run is 194 against the Bills in the first quarter. Okay, and that, Bills and Bills are running 195 in the first quarter on okay. offense, so that's even. So the Bills okay. in the third quarter, the defense has faced that same exact number of 194 plays. How many have they run in the third quarter? 175. So that's – you're talking about 20 plays spread out over 13 games. That's a series. That's a series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So – um play here play that maybe two or three you know what i mean you start talking about you know it's you not start, a full it's not a full splitting, series you're splitting hairs at that point it's not a full series but it's a possession it you is know a especially possession. if you're looking at a possession going into the fourth quarter remember because all that's going to hang over to the fourth quarter so let's look at the fourth quarter splits then right okay 226 plays they've had run on them in the third in the fourth quarter oh really yes oh damn all right hold up uh <laughs> They've run 217 in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's things ramp up near the fourth quarter. Either they're Mm -hmm. down and they got to come back, and then they do come back, and then another team has to come back on them. So, I mean, you talk talk about passing yards that the Buffalo Bills have given up by quarter is 596 in the first. Okay, not bad. 858 in the second. Mm -hmm. 830 in the third. Mm -hmm. 1059 in the fourth quarter. So. Teams have nine touchdowns and six picks in the fourth quarter against the Bills. So mm-hmm. with a 72% completion percentage, now we know a lot of that's garbage time. All right. They're down by 10. Buffalo sure. Bills are conceding certain things to try to run the clock. I, I, sure. That's why the fourth quarter is sometimes a wash. And right. You can't really do that. That's why the first and the third is always a great gauge. How do you come into the game with a game plan? And how do you adjust at halftime? 
Right. So if the Buffalo Bills are coming into the game, it, it's weird from the defensive standpoint. They're coming into the game only giving up five passing touch, or five total touchdowns in the first quarter of games this year. Mm-hmm. Yet in the third quarter, they've given up eleven touchdowns. Yeah. So the it, adjustments is a little off. Right. Well, and you know, we could talk about the game script all day long at Buffalo. Yes. I think one thing that speaks to that is the fact that this entire year, Josh Allen has taken one sack in the first quarter. That's one. amazing. That's it. Right. He's taken eight sacks in every other quarter after, but in the first quarter, just one. And that tells me that their script understands tendencies right away. That's phenomenal. but those adjustments. Right. Those yeah. adjustments that we've talked about, you know, yeah. m- maybe maybe lacking. Yeah. I mean, fewer possessions in, in the third quarter and fourth quarter. Sure. You know, that's definitely a thing. But the fact still remains that their, their script is is incredibly strong, uh, as evidenced by Allen only taking one sack in the first quarter. Like that's they, they run a great game script. Yeah. And, and you think if you combine them all together, Paul, first quarter, average yards game given up. Mm hmm. 4.8 in the first quarter for the Buffalo Bills defense. Second mm-hmm. quarter, 5.53. Fourth quarter, 5.89. Mm-hmm. Okay. They come out of the gate strong. 6.44 mm-hmm. in the third quarter. Average yard gained by their opponent. That's huge. They're not yeah. behind schedule. They can run the ball then. They can mm-hmm. open up their playbook. They can do a bunch right. of different things. But th- right. that seven is sticking out in my mind. The fact is you've given up nine touchdowns the entire first, second, and fourth quarter. You've given up seven in the third quarter alone. That is mm-hmm. huge to me. Yeah. It's yeah. just huge. So right. I, I like it just for the sheer fact is we're taking a little bit of different slant to it. So, I mean, people who have watched this channel, have watched Hashtag Sports, have, you, know, you guys are always beating up on Dayball. You guys always talk about the third quarter. You always, mm-hmm. No, we're trying to take an objective view at certain things here. And, and when I saw right. that statistic, I was like, I got to bring this up to Paul. I got to see this. And then Paul looking at the offensive splits coming back out. It's like, listen, okay, neither side of the ball is helping each other out in the third quarter no, at this point. Not at all. No. Yeah, not at all. No. So we're not excusing the offense for some of the things that are going on as far as adjustments go. However, mm-hmm. there is something that is not right. Mm-hmm. And – you come out of the gates in the first quarter hot. You tend to keep that up into the second quarter. Third quarter, something's going on there. Maybe it's not as big of a deal as, as we make it, but something is going on because then when the fourth quarter hits, it's showtime again. Mm-hmm. Um, I just worry that you can't beat these playoff caliber teams just playing three quarters against them. Right. That's the thing that worries me, especially yeah, on the yeah, on both sides of the ball. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, so no, you can't. You want to you take a quarter can. off against Kansas City. <laughs> At, let's ask the Texans last year in the playoffs how that worked out. <laughs> and Or 24. I think they were up 24 to nothing. And then <laughs> Mahomes is like, yeah, I'm going to throw four touchdowns this quarter. Yeah, just just, just relax. That's how I'm gonna well, weren't the Bills up on the Texans? I mean, couldn't we have the same conversation? <laughs> <laughs> up 24 I mean, and up 16 is a little different. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> Said I just had to mention it. You know that <laughs> that I you know that that knife wound is still in my back. <laughs> A little nugget of truth. Oh yeah. my god! Talk about calling games that oh, was brutal to call at the end of that one. That was a tough one to call. That was a tough oh. game to watch. Felt uh. like I saw a puppy get run over. <laughs> Standing at the side of the road, you're like, well, that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> should we uh, should we call somebody like the post office or somebody? <laughs> See, why did this happen to this poor dog? 